In this lesson, we're going to learn how to calculate pressure and volume changes using Boyle's Law formula. I'd like you to have this example on the top of your notebook, page 119. And Boyle's Law formula is P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times T2. You don't have to memorize that. It is in your district packet. It's right here. But you do need to know what P and V equal. And again, in your district packet, pressure and volume are listed. So P is equal to pressure and V is equal to volume. 1 is equal to starting conditions and 2 are equal to ending conditions. So, there we go. This question says I have a 1 liter of a gas at standard temperature and pressure and it is compressed to 0.473 liters, what is the new pressure of the gas? Just like all math that we're going to do, the best thing to start with is listing the variables. So based on my formula, I need a P1 or a starting pressure. I need a V1 or a starting volume. I need a P2 and a V2, an ending pressure and volume. So I'm going to go back into the reading. It says one liter of gas, volume measures in liters, so 1.00 liter is my V1. It says one liter of gas at standard temperature and pressure. So what that is here, standard temperature and pressure is STP, standard temperature pressure. Now you don't have to fret because back into your district packet they have STP right here, standard temperature pressure, and they're telling you that it is zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. So STP is zero Celsius, which is temperature, and one ATM, which is pressure, temp and pressure. This is for Boyle's Law, so I want the pressure, so one ATM. Tells me that I'm compressing this to this value, that is a liter, so 0.473 liters, and it asks me what the new pressure is, so that becomes a question mark. Now, I'm going to take my formula and I'm going to rewrite it. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. When there's no arithmetic between these, it's multiplied. It's understood that it's multiplied. The best thing to do is rearrange this. Uh, while it's in this format because there's less to move around. Some students really struggle with this. If you circle what it is that you're looking for, um, you know that you want to leave that um, by itself. So we need to somehow, because we're looking for P2, we need to do some math to get P2 alone. Since these are multiplied, I'm going to do the reverse of that, which is divide, and that cancels out my V2s on this side, and if I do it to one side, I do it to the other side. Now this is kind of a mess, so I would suggest you take the 30 seconds to rewrite your formula, starting with what you're looking for on the left-hand side. So I took this, P2, and I'm just going to rewrite this. I know that's kind of a pain, but it will make your work clearer. Now all I have to do is go find my variables. So over on my list here, I have one ATM times my V1, which is 1.00 liters. Include those zeros. We have to do sig figs for this. V2, 0 0.473 liters. 
At this point I usually check my uh, units and these leaders cancel. I am in um, ATM. That is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for pressure. 1 times 1 is 1 and divided by 0.473 gives me quite a few numbers. Both of these units have three sig figs. And now this one you're like, oh, there's one, so maybe I should have one. But because it was given as STP, it's uh, an accepted value, so it's not a measured value. So we need to have three significant figures. And I got 2.11 ATM. And that is my answer. So if I have a liter of gas at standard temperature pressure and I compress it to a, about a half a liter, the pressure is going to increase to 2.11 atmospheres.